What is going on, y'all? It's your boy, Cape Town Menace, back with another video. And uh, I guess this one will be a bit of a room tour and also an emulation station showcase. Um, I just want to show just how beautifully this new retro arc um, update looks where they made an update to where it now puts out a native 240p and 480i resolution. So the second I found out about this, I went out and I got me two CRT TVs off of uh, KSL. Um, the JVC to the right is actually the nicer one. Um, but I just want to show you guys just how beautiful this looks. Um, over here on the, the left screen, um, we'll go with like the, the Super Nintendo. Uh, let me show you guys how just how good Super Mario World looks like when i saw this i was blown away this update has got to be one of the most underrated things playing an emulator on a crt tv is probably one of the most underrated things in 2022 um, but like i said the second i found out about this um i went out and i got me a um two CRT TVs, I got me a Sharp uh, on the left, and the one to the right I like better. It's a lot nicer, it's the JVC. Um, it's a little bit brighter, but I just wanna show just how good a lot of these games look. Turn up the volume a bit. And yeah, I'm using my uh, Raspberry Pi hooked up to the, to the Sharp TV um, on the, the left. But you guys have to see just how, just how beautiful, just how good these games look. Like, look at that. Native 240. It just, it looks amazing. Um, I was playing this on my um, HD TV through an HDMI. But once I found out about this update, um, I went out and got me a, a CRT off of um, KSL. Um, I am trying to find like a Sony Trinitron or like a PVM or a BVM. Um, I just, I haven't been able to find one yet. But like I said, these games just look beautiful on a CRT TV. Um, let's go ahead, let's take a look at like a, like a Neo Geo game. Um, and that'll really show just how good these games look on a CRT because these were made, you know, with CRTs in mind. We'll go ahead and we'll go with Samurai Showdown. Um, and then we'll do an arcade game um, after that so I can show you guys, you know, just how good it looks. Um, and then to the right um, on the JVC CRT, um, I actually have my modded Sega Dreamcast. So originally, I tried to get, um, you know, the native resolution with uh, the PlayStation 3 emulating on the PS3, and then again with the with the Nintendo Wii. But, um, I mean, it works pretty good on the Wii, but on the PlayStation, it upscales it. So that was the main reason why um, I went ahead and just went this route. Um, and I mean nothing beats just playing them on the original hardware, but that can get you know rather expensive um, But yeah, like I said the main reason why I'm making this video is, is just to show how how good how beautiful these games look um, This is emulation station and it's running in the native resolution um, And like I said, it just looks beautiful Try Samurai Showdown 2 or 3. Actually, that one looks the best if you ask me. And then we'll take a look at a we'll take a look at an arcade game as well. But yeah, just take a look at how just how good that looks. Let's go ahead, let's find 
an arcade classic. Let's see, I think I'm gonna show a Mega Man game just because of how the colors and everything pop. And I did make a, a previous video explaining this. It's just I feel like I didn't, you know, make the video as good and showing everything as in depth as I could have. So I went ahead and deleted that video and that's why I'm making this one. I mean, it looks phenomenal. And if you don't have one already, you're into retro gaming. Do yourself a favor. Go out. Go on KSL. Get a CRT. You can get them for cheap. Really, really cheap. Up to, you know, even free. Both of these, I didn't pay a single cent for. Um, they just gave me both of them. But, I mean, if you just... If you take a look at just, you know, how good... The colors look and everything on a CRT in the native resolution. Like, I will never play emulate. I will never run emulation on anything other than a CRT TV. Now I will never play on like an LCD again or anything. Yeah, anything below the PlayStation 2, um, I will not emulate on anything other than a CRT. And I mean, if we take a look at like how good, I'm gonna show you guys how good uh, Street Fighter Third Strike on the on the arcade looks. Find it. Just bear with me, guys. I'm about to find it. And then I'll, after this, I'll also showcase um, some of the games on my Dreamcast emulator and just how good they look on a CRT as well. Oh, yeah, I am telling you guys, this is the most underrated feature for emulation of all time. So let's go ahead and uh, move over to our JVC CRT and I'll showcase just how good some of these games look. So this is my Sega Dreamcast emulator.
like I said, the TV on the on the right, the CRT on the right, does look significantly better. And I do plan on getting another CRT to replace uh, the one on the, the left. Not replace it, um, I mean, I'll still keep it and I'll still use it for other things. I just want a better CRT for my uh, retro pie. Um, one that looks a little better and the colors pop a little bit more. Um, like I said, I was hoping to get like a Trinitron or um, a PBM. But yeah, there's a, there's a Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So here's another game from my childhood that I play a lot that I also feel looks just absolutely amazing on a CRT um, and that's gonna be um, Grandia 2 and while we're waiting um, this just you know will play gameplay from all the games that I have on here and, you know, just leaving it on um, and letting it play the videos, that's a really good, you know, showcase for just how good a lot of these games look on a CRT TV. And I know I keep on saying that, but, I mean, just look at that. Like, I can't get over it. This is the most underrated feature ever. So, um, RetroArch, they actually came out with this update to support um, the native resolution. I think it was in 20, it was either 2019 or 2020. Um, and I saw another YouTuber, another smaller YouTuber, post a video on it. Um, and once I saw that video and I saw how good it looked, um, I, I had to try it for myself. I just, I had to try it for myself. So like I said, that's when I, uh, when I uh, rushed out and, you know, I got myself a CRT. I actually got this one first. And then I got uh, this one next to it, the the uh, the sharp. Like I said, the JVC does look a lot better. I mean, when you hook these retro consoles up to like an LCD TV, you will notice a big difference in how the picture looks a million times better on a CRT. And the reason for that is a lot of these older games, they're actually made just for a CRT TV. And I mean, this isn't the only showcase, you know, I'm gonna do. Um, I have this little switch box that um, actually lets me um, you know, have all my consoles hooked up at once. I thought I, I thought I had Super Smash Bros. Melee in here to showcase it for you, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, like, we go here, you know, they're so calm on the PlayStation 2, which I think, you know, also looks amazing. the uh, original Xbox. But yeah, it's all, you know, just as easy as flipping a switch. Um, and then moving on from there, this isn't really part of the video. I figured I'd just show it. I also got this TV here for free that I have my PlayStation 3 hooked up to. Um, and I play a lot of uh, SOCOM Confrontation. You can still play that online. There's a revival server. But yeah. Um, That'll pretty much do it for uh, today's video. I just, you know, like I said, I wanted to showcase just how good um, retro games look on CRTs. So, I mean, if you guys are into retro gaming, you have like an emulator on your PC or even something just like this little Raspberry Pi right here. Go out, get an adapter, um, and get a CRT TV because I'm telling you, it looks phenomenal. It is, it is so worth it. These games just look amazing. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Uh, more content coming out. 
I'm gonna do a video on uh, the games that I'm playing right now and also uh, games that have changed my life. So be on the lookout for that. Y'all have a good one. Peace.